So a lot of us need to do the work to get better. In this video, I'm just going to share with you some of my experiences and really give you a strategy and a new mindset of what it actually takes to be successful in you trying to land a role in tech. But more specifically, what I talk about is cloud engineering. So I start off with a little story. When I was trying to transition into cloud engineering and my notion was to get certified, I get a job because that's what a bunch of people told me um, when I was trying to get into the industry. They was like, get your certification, you'll be fine. So I went out and I discovered AWS and I actually got the AWS Solutions Architect. Then I went and got the developer a month later, right? And then a month later, I went and got uh, tried for the sysops and I failed. I had a wall and the whole time I'm sitting there thinking, um, I'm not made for this. This is not for me. And all actuality was I thought the work that I put in for the solutions architect and the developer was the same type of work I needed to put in for the sysops, which for those of you who've taken the sysops exam knows, especially if you've taken a solutions architect or developer or even cloud practitioner, you know the sysops exam damn near should be a professional exam. That's how hard it is. But I thought that the work that I put in for those two was the same type of work that I needed to put in for the others. It's just easy. Like, oh, this is easy. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And I hit the wall. And the crazy thing is a lot of you hit this particular uh, failing exam and then equating it to, oh, it must be this. It must be that. The, the exam prep that I got is pure trash. It doesn't even help me. Or the course is stupid. It didn't even teach me. In all actuality, you got to look at, did you really put the work in? So this is what I mean. For some of you, you may be doing some exam prep right now and say, hey, I'm going to take a practice exam once every other day. Or some of you say, I'm going to take a practice exam at the end of the week. And then you got to look at, okay, well, number one strategy of passing the exam, for those of you who don't know, is we want you to have 75% to 80% or above on three or more exams consecutively. So, like, any practice exams you're doing, passing score is 75%. And you need to be passing 75% or three or more exams in a row. And that's how you can gauge if you're ready actually to take the real exam. Well, what brought us, what if I already scheduled my exam and I'm just, you know, my exam is soon. Okay. So you need to ask yourself, instead of taking a practice exam once every other day, what happens if you take a practice exam every day? Or what happens if you take a practice exam twice a day? Or what happens if you actually take a practice exam? If you fail it, take what you failed at because it tell you what you failed at. Go back, relearn some of these things, like spend, you know, some part of your day doing some hands-on labs or reading some documentation and then go back and tackle, tackle that practice exam again. The prep work is going to get you ready. And what I'm trying to say is a lot of us don't even do the prep work, but we expect the result. And then when the result doesn't happen, it can't be us. It has to be the actual material or resource. And sometimes, sometimes it is the material resource, but most of the time it's us because we didn't prep. What helped me get through the sysops failing when the next time I went back is I just divorced the outcome and I just focused on getting better every practice exam. Right? Fuck passing the exam. Yes, we want to pass the exam, right? But fuck passing the exam in my head. I just want to get better scores every single time I take it. And then I 
relearn from the things that I failed. Like if they give me, okay, you failed this question. This is actually the right answer. Here's some link to the documentation. I go study that documentation. I go learn why I failed that question. And I divorce myself from the outcome and I just focus on continuously just getting better. Because once I focus on just getting better, then that particular workflow, that strategy goes to everything else. Me getting better and better and better. And once I reach that height of 75% or more, and I'm doing this all practice exams, I know I'm ready anyway. And now I just want to continue to get better until the day of the practice exam. Because I know I crush it now. So when you look at a, 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 a exam or what you're doing right now, how many practice exams are you doing? Where are you, you know, in percentage as far as passing? If you're 30%, how can you get better? How can you, how can you get to the next one and see if you're 40%? It's all about taking what you failed and just going back and retooling, relearning. Like, okay, I understand. This is what it is. And go back and see how you do. If you're doing one practice exam at the end of each week, uh, you know, let's scale up to one every other day. If you're doing one every other day, let's once a day. If you're already doing once a day, what does it look like to do twice a day? You said you wanted it, right? Or you don't want it that bad. Which one? Like, I, I want to change my life and become a cloud engineer, but I don't want it that bad. Listen, the amount of prep that you put into this career can help you prepare. When preparation meets opportunity, that's when the success is going to happen. I just want y'all to understand that. So even when it comes to projects, we're doing projects, right? Because we're not just focusing on certifications. We're doing projects. And if you do a project, even if a simple project, some basic deployment, basic, you know, I coded something, hello world, deployed it using whatever. Now we need to look at the project and say, okay, if I had an hour or two hours, what can I do to make this more valuable? And you can even use ChatGPT or Gemini or whatever the case, if you just really can't think of anything creative and say, if I, you know, if I could add anything, what could make this better? And it would tell you, hey, if you added this or this or this, maybe it can make it better. And guess what? Go do it. Because now you constantly just divorcing the outcome and you're just focusing on getting better. Most of you do your projects once, set them up to the side, don't even document and think you're going to be able to talk about how you can solve problems in an interview because you did this like six months ago. No, we got to continuously get better, right? That project you did six months ago, I'm pretty sure something came out that you can literally uh, continuously to improve the workflow and strategy of deploying. So let's look at these new services. All right. Divorcing the outcome, focusing on getting better. All right. So when I was trying to learn how to become a cloud engineer, um, I was expecting fast results. Once again, I was told, just get a certification and get a job. So I was bam, 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 trying to take my certifications all in a row. 90 days, I can get a job. But I think it comes a point to what we need to understand is we hit a wall. We hit a wall within this journey that we didn't know anything about. So, for instance, some of you come into cloud engineering and think it's going to be hop, skip, a jump, six-figure bag. But then the, the wall that you hit is the work, the discipline, the consistent behavior that you need to bring to the table in order to learn this stuff in the next six months, eight months, 12 months, whatever it is. And you thought, as I did, that this was a fast track out of your old simple ass career to make money in a new one. And now you're like, oh, sh <sighs> see, I knew, I knew this wasn't for me. This is too much. I ain't, I ain't trying to do all this to make a uh, hundred thousand. I ain't trying to do all this to make 90,000. I ain't trying to do all this to make 120,000. This is a wall that we all hit. But you know, the crazy thing is 
You're going to get paid if you solve the problem of breaking through the wall. You're looking for the fast check, but the check comes with you learning how to break through the wall. The check comes with you learning how to be consistent. The check comes when you learn how to be disciplined and learning and continuously get better. The check comes when you divorce the outcome and just focus on getting better. Because as we focus on getting better, we actually get better. And when we get better, we actually get the outcome anyway. Then, you know, we can sell ourselves, right? We're trying to sell ourselves before we even have a good product, which is your, your skills. You out here on LinkedIn trying to sell yourself before you have the good skills. You haven't even documented any projects you've done and continuously try to get better with them but you're out here trying to land a job. And then when you don't get the results, it ain't you. It's everything else. The journey is the journey. You get paid for breaking through the fucking wall. Whatever that wall is for you right now, wherever you stuck at right now, and you feel like you want to stop, don't. You're getting paid to break through that wall. So I want to just record this short message because I think a lot of people uh, just come into the industry with these expectations. And while this is definitely possible for you to land a high paying role, learning these things, we have to understand that we have to get out of our own fucking way. Most of the time you in your own way. It ain't even, it's all made of tools and resources for you to be successful, whether you are doing something in a discord, whether you're in a taking courses, whether you're in a program, the resources and everything's there that people have already used to help you be successful. My job as a mentor is to help you become better than me, faster than if you're eight months into this game, I want you to be. If you're going to land a role, I need you to land a role that got paid higher than I got paid when I land the role. But a lot of us are in our own way, just like I was when I failed the sysops. I said, I told my wife, this is not for me. Not, not, I already had two certifications, right? And I'm like, this is not for me because I thought what required of me to pass the sysops was the exact same thing that was required of me to pass the solutions architect and developer. And all I had to do was just focus on getting better. I wasn't focused on getting better. I was focused on going fast. And a lot of you are right there. But the information that I'm giving you right now, this can help you. Why are you hitting that wall to understand what you need to break through that fucking wall and get paid? Then I've done my job. Do the work to get better. Getting paid is going to be it's going to happen in the process. You're looking for the check before you doing the work. Nobody's going to pay you a check if you can't do the work. Fake it till you make it. Okay, fake it till you break it, and then your ass get fired. And there's nothing wrong with not knowing some things when you get into a job. But what's wrong is you faking it, and then you get into it, and you know absolutely nothing because you didn't focus on getting better. Even the person, if you did fake it, at least somebody could be smart enough to be like, well, I got here. I got to focus on getting better. I got to focus on getting better and better. We, we don't do that. Divorce the outcome. I want to become a cloud engineer. I want to become a DevSecOps engineer. If you could divorce the outcome over the next six to 12 months, or th that depends on wherever you are in your career, right? If you could divorce the outcome, however, whatever time, and just focus on getting better, doing the things that's going to get better. The money is going to come because you're going to hit a wall and you're going to have to learn how to break through it. All right. So real quick, guys, um, free community for you. If you're really serious about getting into cloud engineering, I want to invite you to my cloud career accelerator community. The link is in the descriptions, free courses, free projects, free content, valuable content and some live coaching where we do troubleshooting calls all um, every month to help you understand how to solve real problems on the job for real in a group and giving your inputs on how to solve uh, outages, et cetera. 
click the link in the descriptions. But I hope this helps someone that's stuck where I was stuck to push through the wall, do the work to get better, look at your projects and say, how can I make this more valuable? If you're prepping for a course, how can I be consistent with taking more practice exams and learning the failures, learning from the failures and coming back at just getting better and just the voice and the outcome, put my head down and work and understand if I do that, the outcome is coming anyway. I'm going to get the goal. I'm going to reach the goal. I'm going to become a better engineer for the things that I learned over the last few months. All right. Share this with somebody who needs to see it. Um, if you needed the message, execute. That's all we're asking you to do. All right. So my name is Broadus, founder of Level Up in Tech. I hope this helps you. And uh, yeah, subscribe if you want to learn more. I drop these videos damn near daily. And um, I just want to help you learn cloud engineering, land a job, and make money. See you later.